There we are. I mean, I just... Uh, really need to get rid of those guys and now at least I have the rail line there and I need to fix it up there damn it um, but I can rail it there on the next turn and then actually I'll start moving up from Boris Ogelpsk and start getting uh, I will try to get a, a rail line going basically through here and then Gorky um, we'll kind of just see it's not going very quickly unsurprisingly but anyway let's let's continue here and take a look so you Probably stay on that. I should probably use this motorized to also, you know, go and deal with some of these units, at the very least those that are in a reasonable terrain. Also try to deal with some of the units in here, even if it's just only these. It's another core unit. Can you? Launch an offensive. Let's see. I have to say, those last remaining Soviets are fighting tooth and nail. Stay alive. Oh, they actually do have uh, fighting units in there. I was a, a bit confused as to what was going on. Um, but it, it makes sense now. And like I, I said, well. See whether I'll be able to get into Saratov yet. I guess we'll just surround this sixth tank war. I guess they'll get out, but matters very little. Um, for all intents and purposes, I kind of want to snag everything up to the, the last rail lines. Um, 
you know, there's no other rail line in this sector, so there's no real reason for me to try to get in there. Like, why would I want to go and get Gubiev? Well, there's nothing there. So. That core only had 10,000 units. No, and I don't think these guys are going to lose it anytime soon. So I kind of just need to also keep the, those troops in there. Let's actually go all the way up. Okay, so they are surrendering. Um, I guess they probably just don't have any more ammunition or something. Like, I'm not particularly sure as to why I did win. Show the details. Or they just had too many elements damaged. But looking at the Soviet numbers, they're going below 3 million now. And the real question is, but I don't think it will happen. Will the same be going on here? Answer is no. Moreover, many of my units really didn't like that. Hmm. They did get up to fifty. Anyway, let's get at least some of the depleted units out. Oh, you can't? All right, that's fine. Let's just leave them there. I don't think I can attack Iranian bombs since they actually had supplies there. Let's try to move those other units over in that location. One, two, three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three. These guys can move a lot more to the side here. I 
The um, thing that would make most sense for the Soviets is indeed to build tank war because why would they try to build anything different? that there these uh, attacks would probably be even worse than normal get them to retreat with such an overwhelming number. But I don't think the same will work here, no. Um, not even here. Well, that's that's fine. I'm not getting any supplies in there. My goal, at least here, is still to also try to cut off the Soviet forces from any other help there might be in the region. There probably isn't even that much. Can keep this like that. Wow. I would have thought, actually. <laughs> also here. Um, I'll just try to get around them. For the moment, move in here. Mm. Yeah, it's already too late even to try and attack something like this with a halt range of 686. It's just way too much. If I didn't even take this hex, they must have a unit in there. Indeed they did. Interesting indeed. Wow. 
Well, I'll continue. Move up as well. Also, because it gives units like this trouble, they will not be able to get supplies and they will have to also again retreat back simply because of that. Get me another ten thousand. Mm. At this point, I just want to start moving there. I know that they still have a unit there. Mm. I don't want to say by this point it's irrelevant because that's not really the case, but. Depot in here, though, and try to steer these units in the general direction. Uh, saying myself up for an attack on the fourth guard's rifle corps at least and I leave those there the units from sixth army We'll go into Stalingrad. And rather just uh, just stay there. Um, I'll send these around. Also because I want its unit somewhere else. Having these guys operate from Stalingrad, I guess is still okay. You can go into the sixth. Actually get some units in there. So the units that are done fighting here, they can kind of just uh, get into Stalingrad itself. Um, now that I'm thinking about them, yeah, I need to get these guys up to Stalingrad too, because as these guys are going to move up, I basically need to have the Hungarians fill this gap here with, well, with the Romanians there. The Hungarians cannot really go anywhere else, either which way. Um, so they will also kind of like take a position up here and then, I guess, dig in. It matters not. Um, indeed. Let's get going. Mm -hmm. So this is the next one. Then you and 
here. And they can go further. And I suppose I will have them all on refit. Just uh, get them back up to troop strength. Potentially. Um, I have no railroads here that are working and I will probably not have those for a long time anyway. Since basically I would need to have this rail unit take care of It's basically a question whether I want to get them all the way to Derbent or to Baku. I guess if I get them to Baku, it means the oil is immediately running, which is fair. I guess I would rather have that. Right, anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close in on these. And uh, I cannot attack this turn, but I guess maybe next turn. Cannot get in there either. So... The question is, where do I want to kind of dig in? Really. Because if I do that, I guess. Uh, and it holds, I suppose. And 35th core. How far can they go? Well, let's send them out there. Into the city. And then lastly, I have the 47th. The thing is, of course, that I have these units that are also part of it. Well, I'm, I'm looking to get that way. And then there's also all these units up here, which, quite frankly, they can't really go anywhere at this moment. Did I get more troops for a bigger frontage? The answer is no. I'll probably be able to spread those guys out a little bit more too, but uh, for the moment there is no way of doing something like that. Um, If I get this straightened out, which I kind of want to do. The ninth Corka, you cannot get out. You should stay there, you there. Cannot allow them to retake Istra. So, at the very least, I also need to make sure that uh, I do have units that are covering every part.
and just like that. I'll have to swap them around a bit, but even with that, things should be pretty much fine. All right, uh, I have only the train units to deal with now. They still have to deal with these units. I'll put you into the Borisol Gelbsk depot. And I'll, I'll get my... Uh, My real units here. They're off of the train. I want a lot of units in here because they need to fill that gap. But not so much besides. All right, let's wrap it up for this turn once again. Now with um, all the rain and stuff, things are going a lot uh, slower, of course, and it indeed means that we can't really advance that much. I still wonder what those dots are. They don't have those dots down there, interestingly. Yeah, please go for reconnaissance. That's super useful. Somehow I kind of feel like these guys will never run out. Somehow. Wow. Through the mud too. That's uh, that's really impressive. And there we go once again. doing one uh, episode of turn now so should be going pretty quickly April 22nd uh, just kind of interesting to see how far we can ultimately go with this I mean uh, 
I will most likely never go for another grand LP with this game again, at least one which has any chance of succeeding like this. Like, I did see on the Matrix Games forums that they're working on DLC and they're currently beta testing, so there are new scenarios coming. Probably one of them will be the Battle of Kursk, so from that there's no way you can actually win anymore, like by decisive victory. I am fairly certain that by, back, by that stage the Soviets are too powerful for you to do these kind of shenanigans. Mm. As the game does need to allow you some ability to maneuver, which the AI did by putting an excessive amount of forces on certain areas, but. Um, I don't believe you can pull something like that off in uh, in Kursk. The AI will most likely just straight up not retreat like they did in this game. Did they cut me off? I mean, that is how it looks like. Map minus that, and for them minus 212. Looking at their numbers, they're now actually below 3 million deployed. No messages. So, uh... The fact that they have parity in numbers, even with the Germans now, just straight up means that Soviets are done. It's crazy if you think about the excessive losses that Soviets have taken every single turn. It's like over 200,000 units each week. Rather absurd. Um, yeah, the weather's still bad here. But at least I'll take Tbilisi. No points in Tbilisi, but still. Oh, this rail is uh, pretty bad for the tanks. They really cannot get that far, but Derbent is the last station before anything else there. It seems like they're unable to get across the river. In here, these guys are cut off, and it seems like, ah, oh, they, I think that 13th Guards Rifle Corps was um, in that sector. So now they are cut off too. Right, I'll, I'll see how far I can get in uh, the next episode again. It seems like there are some areas where I, I can potentially still walk. Seems like I'll take Cherepovets too. Which is kind of nice. Hmm. Thought, yeah, they had a unit there, so that unit must have retreated quite a bit. Maybe even back to Voldoga, which I guess is my final objective in that area. I wonder if the units here are still depleted. It seems like they're not, so they would technically be ready for another attack in some way but uh yeah i'm not not gonna do that right now um, what i'm gonna do though is i'm gonna end this video i want to thank everybody for watching since there's rain there now too hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please do consider leaving a like comment or subscribe And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.